shards There's no place to hide It's like being in a purple haze And the gift shop waiting on the other side It's surrounded by electric rays In the tunnel of sharks There's big trouble Spinning everywhere you see But the shape of the plastic bubble Means they're bigger than they seem to be <laughs> I'm here with Brooke Adams and uh, you know I, I first met Brooke at Portland Uke Fest 2008 I'm sure because that yeah. was the first one we were at. You guys had like just uh, a few complete ukuleles. Mostly some incomplete pieces, pieces of wood. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, was that the year that you worked up the chorus of that song with uh, Victoria and Char, or was that the next year? I, it might have been the next year, I'm not sure, yeah. but uh, yeah, that was a high I point. I mean, one of, yeah, one of our high points was, <laughs> was working that up, and Victoria Box and Char came up from, out from backstage, like with, with shark. Their, their shark thing, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, and yes, sort of Vegas style with the, with the girls. You know. So, you know, for me, like, I, um, we're going to cover a few of, of Brooke's songs here in this video, but I love his songs, but what I, I think I really love is the stories behind them, because um, I remember, you know, so tell us about Tunnel of Sharks. Well, um, Tunnel of Sharks is, is um, I, I have this thing about big metal buildings. I, it's not that I love them or hate them, I just, they're everywhere, big metal buildings, and and uh, you don't, sometimes they pop up in unexpected places, you know. And uh, this was a long time ago on a trip to France with uh, my family. And my daughter was maybe three or so, my younger daughter. And uh, we, I saw this advertisement for a tunnel of sharks, you know. Well, that just sounded too cool. We've got to go there. And I'm not paying attention to French geography or distance or anything not being good in French at all. So uh, I book the tickets and we get on the train and we go to the Tunnel of Sharks, except that instead of going out to the sea from Paris, we go down into the Loire Valley. And, uh, you know, it looks like Oregon, right? There, it's just fields and, and, and farms and, and a big metal building in the middle of a field, a hundred or more miles from the sea. And, uh, and it's full of, well, they have a Tunnel of Sharks in there. It's not very big, you know, it's like the size of a restaurant or less, you know. So it's a very short tunnel and the sharks are maybe about the size of this ukulele here. And uh, But when they swim by, the plastic, you know, thing refracts and makes them look really huge. And, and this was, this is what we traveled, you know, many thousands of miles <laughs> to go. No experience. To, to the tunnel it's, of sharks, yeah. It's why I go to France. Right, and Sophie, that's my younger daughter, she, she made up a little song, and it was just Tunnel Sharks, Tunnel Sharks, Tunnel Sharks, repeated over and over again, but I, I stole that. I steal liberally from my daughters, and uh, uh, I stole that and turned it into this song. So, so yeah, Tunnel Sharks. Another one of my favorites is uh, One Man Taliban, <laughs> uh, which you're going to play in a second, but tell us where, you know, One Man Taliban, where that, that idea came uh, from. <laughs> Um, that, well, that th these are all from my family. I want you, you you're going to think that I have some kind of a dysfunctional family life, which I may. But, uh, but in fact, uh, um, it's a, it's a, I was cooking. I was at the mother. We were at the mother-in-law's house. I'm giving my wife a hard time about things. You know, just being a jerk, basically, in the kitchen. And and she says, you know, Brooke, you you are one man. Taliban, and and I just you know it's like that scene in uh, in uh, Walk Hard you know where Dewey Cox go, oh, you know, and I was like yes, and and then after I made the song and I played it for the wife and daughters and they begged me, they begged me not to don't don't perform that song please don't do that song and uh, and uh, that just made me want to do it more so uh, I taught it to the band and we do. Let's hear it. We'll, okay, we'll okay, it. I'll give you a chunk of one long time. It's to be played in a reggae style. He's a man never change no diaper. He's a man never sweep no floor. 
He's a man with a manly reason Why a man never do no chore He's a man with a holy book Personality Captain Hook Calling into the radio show Crying I told you so He's a one man Taliban One man Taliban One man Taliban One man One man Taliban one It goes on, but it, you, I'm sure you have only so much media space. Oh, we're so no far beyond the normal unscripted video. But, you know, if you ever get an idea of why, you know, what inspired Shar and I to get into this early on, I mean, imagine, you know, your first ukulele experience, Portland Ukulele Festival, and Brooke Adams is up on stage. So, um, you know, we're just coming off of the uh, second annual Miami picnic that Aaron and Nicole run. And that was fun. That was yesterday. That was terrific. It was a great time. And Brooke is there as an instructor and performer. And uh, so wouldn't you know it, uh, he gets up there to uh, play a song, and it's a new song, new to us. And uh, it's called Beautiful Tarantula. That's the name. And this is going to be new to you, too, and to me, because I don't know the story behind Beautiful Tarantula. Uh, well, uh, this is, in, once again, this is a trifecta, right? Because all the songs that we've talked about were the ideas that I stole from my family, right? So you can see I, I don't have any ideas of my own. No <laughs> original just, thinking. Right, none, none whatsoever. <laughs> so um, um, this is also from my younger daughter, Sophie, and uh, she, about the same age, the same Tunnel Sharks time, and she used to sing the, these tuneless songs, and she would sing, I am so beautiful, but I am a tarantula. And you imagine a three-year-old doing that for a long time in the back of the car. And uh, so these things stick in your mind. And then when I was making my last uh, CD, uh, the, these words just kind of popped into my mind. And, you know, you get in the shower and it assembles itself into a song. And, uh, and so this is what I came up with. So you want to hear it? I do. Okay. Let's see if I can do it without making any mistakes or forgetting any words. ugly store. Don't know what you was looking for. Shouldn't not to go there no more. No more, no more. I gave up all of my plans for you. My mistake for not thinking through or understanding the things you do. The things you do. I guess I gotta pay for every little thing. And just the other day, well I thought I heard you saying, I'm so beautiful. But I am a tarantula. I am so beautiful. But I am a tarantula. Now the foot's in another shoe. No one knows what I meant to you. And I've been thinking the same is true about you, about you. I gave the tether a tug to see. Pulled the rug out and I was free But happiness, it's a drug to me A drug to me I guess I gotta pay For every little thing And just the other day well, I thought I heard you saying I'm so beautiful But I am a tarantula I'm so beautiful But I am a tarantula You're so beautiful But you are a tarantula <laughs> so, I don't know, what, what more can I say? I, I, I sit there and listen to it and I gotta tell you that I think, uh, you know, we're pretty lucky, Char and I, because we get to run into people like Brooke and they come out to our... No, I think it's just <laughs> you. super cool. I, just, I love you, man. Thank you. I, and I hope that that spider bite on your foot gets better. <laughs> That's a, well, like how... It's a tarantula. In I know. I've got a. I got a yeah. spider bite at the. I'm gonna sue Aaron and Nicole because it happened at the. Yeah, uh, they got deep pockets. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>